There's an exhibit on display that shows people how paper products can help prevent the spread of germs and diseases. Emily Deem is live in Appleton to explain. Hi, Em. Morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. We're out here at the Paper Discovery Center in Appleton checking out their health and hygiene exhibit. This is a permanent, a permanent exhibit out here, and it really does show you how paper products are used to help prevent the spread of germs and diseases. And this morning, I'm actually testing my knowledge, and Rachel and Pete, we want to test yours, too. All right. There's this okay. little, like, quiz that you can take on here. Oh, no, and I lost my... I lost my question. Oh, it was well. a really good one that I was going to have. <laughs> this one's too easy. I know you'll get that one. Can you tell I've taken this already a couple of times? I'm not going to do that one. I don't want to ask you that one. Oh, man. I already did that one. This is not fun. Uh, Kathleen, let's talk to Kathleen really quick. Kathleen, tell us a little bit about the exhibit while I find this question, okay? okay? This is our Kimberly Clark Health and Hygiene Exhibit. It's a permanent exhibit here at the Paper Discovery Center. It was sponsored by Kimberly Clark Corporation. And it traces the history of paper products and how they've been used over the years to reduce the spread of germs and bacteria and therefore improving health and hygiene. We talked earlier about how Kleenex uh, replaced cloth uh, handkerchiefs and has diminished the spread of germs and bacteria as a result of being able to blow your nose in a Kleenex and then throw it away rather than sticking it back in your pocket and letting the germs breathe there. You did a good job. You did a good job, Kathleen, talking that whole time because I'm still trying to find it. I did <laughs> learn through this that um, I did learn that there are, there are 500 different types of bacteria um, in your mouth alone. How gross is that? But there are certain ways that you can use to, you know, certain things right. you can do to prevent well, all of that stuff. Because I've taken this, I've taken this so many times, Rachel and Pete. Okay, here we go. We wow. found it. Okay. Um, Pete, okay, Kathleen, I want you to read the question to Rachel and Pete, okay? The question is, paper is used to cover the exam table when you go to the doctor. The United States uses 5.5 billion feet of paper each year. How many times could this paper be wrapped around the earth at the equator? Is it 12 times, 22, 42, or 62, Rachel and Pete? I'm going to go 42. Uh, I'll go 22. Okay, let's, Pete says 22. Incorrect. Let's try Rachel's answer. Correct. Oh, yeah. Man. What do I get? Exam for table paper. Um, you get a high five, an air five, right over here, right? <laughs> Kathleen and I high five for Rachel. <laughs> yeah. Exam table paper helps stop the spread of disease. It takes 45 million pounds of paper to make all of this exam table paper. Unbelievable. Kathleen, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. And um, thank you everyone, and, and Rachel and Pete for playing the game and, and being so patient while I found that question that I lost. So you can come out here and take the quiz for yourself. Go to our website to learn more. And hey, coming up in the 7 to 8 o'clock hours, we're actually going to be joined by a doctor to talk a little bit more about this year's flu season. If you have any questions, I have uh, something on my Facebook page. You could send me that or you could even email me too. So if you want to do that, you can. We'll send it back to you for now, Rachel and Pete. Okay, good deal. Thanks, Emily. See ya.